I am an Anabaptist Mennonite Christian. Being a Mennonite Anabaptist Christian means that I include my faith in my everyday, and my work is more than a job, it is a part of my mission. I did that when I was employed at Pleasant View Home in Kelowna, and I now include my, my faith daily in my retirement years. My key verse has always been the words of Jesus found in Matthew 25, 40. Whatever you do for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you do for me. I would like to share my story titled, The Least of These, a story that will always stay with me. This story comes from when I was the director of nursing at Pleasant View Home. One afternoon when I was sitting at the nurse's station checking charts and looking down, I heard a soft voice sing, Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. I looked up surprised and spoke to the resident in the wheelchair now sitting across from me. I asked him, are you singing to me? With a quiet voice, he replied, yes. He was one of our residents who had many needs. He functioned at a low level and was one of the least of these. I looked at him and said, you are so right. Jesus loves you and so do I. Listen to the words of the song, Jesus Loves Me, that he sang to me that day. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves even me, because the Bible tells me so. For both of us, the resident and I, it was a God moment I will never forget. There is indeed room at the table for both of us because the Bible tells me so. I am an Anabaptist Mennonite Christian. I believe that the love of God is broader, broader far than tongue or pen can ever tell. God does love you and me because the Bible tells me so. Celebrate the gift of life and God's present in your everyday. Remember, Jesus loves you and so do I. Nick asked me to share in two to three minutes what is important to me about being an Anabaptist Christian. I became a Christian when I was probably around 12 years old. I went forward um, in a revival meeting um, and accepted Jesus as my Savior. And my understanding at that time was that being a Christian meant having my sins forgiven and having the assurance of spending eternity with God in heaven. I still believe that, but my understanding of what it means to be a follower of Jesus has changed since then. I was especially challenged when I went to, to Heston College. In the classes I took and the Bible studies I was in, and I was challenged on what does it mean to really follow Christ in life? I believe that the Christian life begins with transformation, the ability to change. And because we are changed and being transformed into the likeness of Christ, I believe that it is actually possible for us to, to follow Jesus in, in, in life and in the world in which we live. I am being transformed into the likeness of Christ. So the Christian life is more than having my sins forgiven. It is this, yes, but Jesus also calls me to follow him in life. And following Jesus in life is what being an Anabaptist Christian means for me. My Anabaptist faith seeks to make Christ the center of my faith and to allow my life to be transformed by the power of the Holy Spirit so that I can live as Christ taught me to live. I believe that Jesus helps me to know what it means to love God with all my heart, mind, soul, and strength and to love others as I love myself. Jesus' teachings in the Sermon on the Mount call us to follow him in a radical kind of way. They define for us what it means to follow Jesus in life. Making Jesus the center of 
my faith, following Jesus in the world in which we live, and making peacemaking the center of my work are all important principles for me as I seek to live out my faith in an Anabaptist kind of way. One of my favorite things about the Anabaptist Mennonite Church is the emphasis on community as the center of our lives. Throughout Jesus' life of teaching, he refers to his followers in family terms. Through that example, and also the way he spent time with people, it's evident that Jesus wanted his followers not only to believe in him, but also to have a strong sense of belonging to each other. I think this emphasis on community is so important as a church and one of the things that Washington Mennonite does so well and is a big part of what drew Marcus and I to Washington Mennonite specifically. I think we grow in community as a church by eating together, welcoming visitors, having fun, worshiping together, reading and discussing scripture together, uh, working together, the list goes on. Another part of the Anabaptist Mennonite faith that I believe is particularly important is how Mennonites focus on Jesus as the center of our faith. When you read about Jesus in the New Testament, he lives radically. I think we as Christians are called to live radically as well, or at least in a way that our lives are a testament to our faith, that people can tell there's something different about us. Some ways I've seen Mennonites live radically are by doing long-term service, being kind to strangers, and working to understand the perspectives of people who are different than us. Living radically can sometimes just mean thinking about others and putting them before ourselves. I like to say I'm a follower of Jesus because of his teachings on love, his being a peacemaker and a servant. To me, these characteristics are what are important about being an Anabaptist Mennonite follower of Jesus. In today's world, I think the term Christian doesn't always give the best picture of what Christ's love means, and for that reason I call myself a follower of Jesus. There are two specific places in the Gospel of John where he speaks of a new commandment. John 15, 12 says, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. John 13, 34 says, A new commandment I give you. Love one another. As I have loved you, so must you love one another. These are commandments. How can we not love and accept everyone in our church family? Being a peacemaker and pacifist is also an important part of being an Anabaptist Mennonite. Jesus' teaching in the Sermon on the Mount mentioned turning the other cheek. This means I need to listen and try to understand opposing viewpoints. Jesus was also an example of being a servant. I do that by working at Crowded Closet, driving the Hillcrest shuttle, doing meals on wheels, and supporting Crooked Creek Camp. So for me, love is essential. I must work every day showing love and acceptance. With love, peacemaking, and servanthood can grow. Hello, everybody. I grew up during the Vietnam War and was sometimes a pro protester of it. I had a hunch that God was interested in seeing us do something less destructive. But when I bring it up with Christian friends, they'd say, oh, the Bible is full of wars. And they had a point. Years went by, I found myself being a pastor and during years of preparing sermons, I came across these wonderful words of Paul. In Christ, all the fullness of God lives in bodily form. He is the image of the invisible God. So it seemed to me, if I wanted to see God, I was to look at Jesus. And if I wanted to be part of what God wanted to do. I was to do what Jesus did. And while Joshua and Elijah and all the people of the wars in the Bible did some killing, Jesus, the full revelation of God, the pinnacle 
of God's revelation of himself was saying to me, Monty, love your enemies. As I retired and thought about a church home, I began to feel a hope that Mennonites might actually try to practice this. And at the same time, a hope that I might learn how to practice it too. Hi, this is Tim, and I'm uh, going to share a little bit of what I know about my Anabaptist faith and what I believe in. I was born into the Anabaptist faith. My parents consciously taught us the fundamentals of the Anabaptist faith. When and how did I decide it was something I believed? I was baptized as a teen, and only gradually through my life, I learned and read about others who talked about their Anabaptist beliefs. The most important thing for me is to have Jesus as the center of my faith. He should be the first place we turn for answers. We can use the Bible to search for answers. It gives us many examples of Jesus interacting with common people just like you and I. I'll list several things that I find very important in an Anabaptist lifestyle. Adult baptism, just makes sense to me. Baptism is a personal decision of uh, uh, representing a changed life. It's public for people to see. Babies have a hard time doing that. Jesus preached to love our brothers and sisters, even our enemies, even those who nobody else loves. We need to use Jesus' example of giving up money, popularity, and material things, and instead using our time to support those who don't have everything or those who are suffering. The last thing um, I'll mention about the Anabaptist life is the importance of fellowship and Christian community. We need to support each other and grow together in the faith. In the early days, the Anabaptist pilgrims searched together to learn what the scriptures were really saying. They wanted to read it themselves. This is what a fellowship of believers does. They encourage each other in community and learn together. Thank you. Nick gave a tough assignment to a preacher. Our faith tradition is something that I hold very dear and to limit my comments to two minutes is a task indeed. I am thankful for a faith tradition that reads the scriptures with Jesus, the culmination of God's creative work, the God with us at the center. A reading that invites us into creativity as well as we do God's work in our neighborhoods. I'm thankful that at our best, we believe that the words of scripture are not dead that the lessons there are not old and dusty, that we have the freedom and the agility to follow Jesus, even into unexpected places. At our best, we invite participation and we don't offer coercion in return. Our faith is not something that we only unpack on Sunday mornings. We are not saved by creed or belief alone, but instead our constant work as Mennonite followers of Jesus is to follow Jesus wherever he leads and to together as a community discern what that means for us in our world today. I am thankful for a tradition that has prioritized following Jesus over personal dignity or safety or piety, for a tradition that includes examples of what that following Jesus in the world can lead to or mean. Our tradition includes martyrs who died for their faith and the right to choose it. It includes conscientious objectors who were ridiculed for their willingness to stand up for God's shalom. It includes the work of men and women for peace in places of great personal danger. It includes service, some exciting and some mundane, to the very least of these and the most forgotten. I am thankful for a tradition in which our beliefs are known by the way that we live, by the way that we are invited to choose to take part in a contrast community, 
a place and a people that value simplicity, honesty, integrity, humility, and service, a contrast to so much of what our world offers. I'm thankful to be a Mennonite, baptized as an adult into a people whose center is Jesus.